It is our duty to make sure his death met. Let's get these codes to see her. That drill's gonna be a problem. We got this thing's attention. That was close. I'm impressed. Back in. Then let's hurry.
have no time to explain. Do you trust me? Yes. Was that for luck? No. Hurry. How did you do that? A ritual I learned when I returned to Dathomir. It is taxing. You okay? I am fine. Come on, let's get these coats to see her. Ready, Phil? Ready.
I am staying here for now. Cal, BD, well timed. I remembered a second location you might wish to explore. Another temple? Quite so. This one is in the southern desert, and it is quite magnificent. When I visited, I felt the weight of the past upon me. I am sure you will too. Sounds incredible. I think so. Although it was certainly simpler before the Empire increased its presence here. Have you explored any of the ruins on Jeddah? I have. Quite fascinating. Though my research was cut short due to the growing Imperial presence. Now it's too risky to venture outside. And we send communications only when absolutely necessary. Hmm. <laughs> that is why I could not tell you that I returned, my friend. My sincerest apologies. We're just glad you're okay. Keep an eye out for the Empire. Seer. I couldn't save Armaius. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Cordova, did you find a way across the abyss? No, but you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the abyss. Santari Cree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Cree invented the abyss compass to guide others safely to Tenor. The Republic established a settlement, the Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too, but how'd they get across the abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tantalor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compass. Dagon Gera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, Records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. What well, look? Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The hidden path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... ...unique. Survivors... ...fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Yeah... ...you helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as Seer said... 
Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. You're upset about Armias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first life lost in our struggle. And it will not be the last. I know, but we were so close here. Brother Armias served the cause faithfully. And that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. Let's stop. <laughs>